Well guys, I'm back in the garage and the other day I was riding the bike when lo and behold my battery key fob died while I was out and I had to start the bike using the security override. So if like me you don't carry a sports manual everywhere you go, this is a crash course in three things. One, starting your bike with the security key. Two, checking what your security key actually is. And three, changing your security key to something you can actually remember. Uh, I'm going to put a comment down below which will have the timestamps, all three, so if you're in a rush you can get there quickly. This is a Harley Sports of 48 but it will be applicable to a lot of the other Harleys as well. Let's get on it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is start the bike without the key fob present. So to do that, you're going to need to flick the engine on to run and hold both indicators down simultaneously. You need to do it quick or the alarm will go off. You've got about 10 seconds to start doing something before the enter pin goes away. So we're going to use the left indicator to select the number and the right indicator to move on to the next number. So very simply, my code is one, two, three, four, five. I do like high security codes. And then bang, the bike has uh, fired up and I could hit the start button to run the bike. So now we'll look at checking what your security pin number is. Okay, so to check what your security code is actually set to, you're gonna need an active fob present and then you need to do quite a complicated move. We're gonna go on, off, on, off, on. So three ons on the starter, three taps on the left indicator and one on the right. So on, off, on, off, on, one, two, three, right. And there we go, it displays what the code is. So now you know what it is and you can switch it off and you're good to go. Right, okay, so the final piece is how to change the security code. So we start off by doing exactly the same thing as to display the currently set code. So that is on, off, on, off, on, on the starter switch. And then we are going left, left, left. So three presses on the left indicator and one on the right very quickly. So on, off, on, off, on, left, 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 right. They can see it's displaying the current code. You can then use the left indicator to change the highlighted number and the right indicator to move you along. I'd suggest that you pick a very secure number, which I like to do. So there we go. I've set my new code. I can switch the bike off and that's it. It is now set and good to go whenever I need it. Well guys, I hope that information comes in useful for you as it did for me. I wanted to keep this one short and sweet today. But as always, this channel is about how-tos, it's about customization, reviews and general riding. So if you're into that and you're into your Harleys and your Sportsters, then hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and we'll be back soon.